What's going on, y'all? Uh, hitting blog number 15, and guess who I found? <laughs> it took 15 <laughs> blogs to get the wife, the partner, uh, my boss on here, because she always running. She's a yoga instructor. She runs all the administrative work for the business, so she's always going work and doing her thing. Uh, so today, I'm going down to like an outdoor living conference downtown Chicago. I forgot the name of it, so uh, she has to show for me around uh, to get me to the train tracks, then I take the train down. But uh, Hey, uh, say hi, because we ain't seen them in, in 15 <laughs> vlogs. Because right? you're always running around doing your thing. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to say? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> See, that's why she's not on here. She's not to say, but she's like, hey, you're not in my vlogs. I can't believe you got 15 out, and I'm not on one of them. So that's why, because you don't have nothing to say. Say uh, so. I have a lot to say. I just don't know. I don't have anything to say right now, because you okay. didn't get on the train. Okay. I ain't going to miss yeah. the train. We right here. Okay. Uh, right beside it. Okay. All right. Because you're going to be vlogging about how you missed the train and you were <laughs> at the train station. All right, y'all, come hang out with me today. We've got a, a pretty good, good day, adventure. Everyone. And say, hey, what's up, Devin? He's back there hiding in the backseat. Devin is always in the vlogs. You know that. We're elevating the outdoor living. Merch Mart here uh, downtown Chicago. It's a really, really neat place. It's almost worth uh, visiting uh, if you come visit Chicago. The building is about one square block. It's huge. I mean, it has about, I want to say, I think it's about 15, 16 floors, but it has nothing but outdoor living furniture. It has indoor furniture, decorations, stuff like that. I mean, if you think of it um, design-wise, exterior, interior, it's here. And today they're having an outdoor design conference, so they invite designers and people from all over the country, and we all come here and kind of meet together, look at different furniture ideas and go through different classes. <laughs> class that I went to was pretty neat. It was uh, outdoor living design trends. And so what the instructor did, he actually did some research on what's coming to the market, the styles, the colors. I mean, it's totally amazing. I think I'm gonna put a list on the blog of what's really coming our way. Next class, hanging with Bill from uh, Mama Green. He was giving classes on how to handle and maintain teak. And uh, yep. Bill, uh, what's just a quick tip on, on how to maintain teak furniture? Uh, one of the best things to know is that it is not scary. It is not a huge involved big monster of a job it's very very easy at any stage in the process if it's new if it's been sitting outside for a year or two to get it exactly where you want it there isn't a right or a wrong if it's gray silver or uh, the original honey color you can very easily restore it uh, and keep it for decades because teak for thousands of years has been the number one preferred material for outdoor furniture boom this guy is outdoor living regarding their outdoor spaces. Outdoor living is no longer restricted to the spring and summertime. Show's all done, great event. Got to see a bunch of different classes and got a bunch of different information about outdoor living designs. Um, furniture layouts, uh, new trends of what's going on in the environment. Uh, very, very neat event. I mean, been here pretty much most of the day. Uh, so now it's the trip heading back home. No train, I think I pretty much snagged a ride back with Rick. We're elevating the outdoor living. Mm -hmm. 